Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to the World Series 2021. This, uh, I told you it was going to be a marathon of games and that's exactly what you are getting. So today here we have you roll or roll uh, versus OSS project. Um, don't know if this is a Smurf account or not, but yeah, OSS or OSS project. Never heard of the guy before, but he is... Um, yeah, they played random versus random. They're going to do random reverse. And then down in the south, we have OSS Project with the China Infantry. Up in the north, we have Roll with the GLA Demolition. So this will have been Roll's map because he loves this map. Every time I play against him, he wants to play this and he wants to play a GLA Mirror on this. <laughs> he absolutely loves that matchup and that map. Um, so him starting with GLA on this, I thought he actually might have chosen the armies as well, but... Looks like random. It is going to be a Helix from OSS. A little bit indecisive about where that minigun is going. He's going for two supplies and then a very fast Helix. Nice little positioning. I don't mind this at all. The minigunner is going to stop that terrorist. So as long as you can deny the scout. Actually, if this flies straight across the map and uh, roll goes a technical first, you might actually have some luck there. This terrorist does need to get the scout off, though. This this actually means a lot. There is another minigunner there that could be used, and roll is going to go over to this supply to try and find a supply, but not actually find anything. If he scouts this airfield, it gives him a big advantage in terms of getting the number of quads out. He might even drop a stinger down in his base so he doesn't go down. And, uh, yeah, this is keeping uh, OSS busy. Helix is not out just yet. Technical is already out and inside of the base, and it's the, the helix has now been spotted. There's, I don't know if there's any quad cannons yet. There will be now, surely. The main supply here goes down. Quad cannon is now out, and the helix has already taken a lot of damage here. The bunker is not even in play yet. Oh, and he's still taking damage. He's failed to kill the RPG, so he's taking about half damage. So that's the, the rush revealed. It's not an all-in, but it's a very committed rush because if you lose that helix or it doesn't get very much done, you're kind of on the back foot straight away because your wolf actually is going to be late in terms of getting outposts out and stuff. You're probably going to have skimped out on bunkers. So, uh, yeah, apart from the airfield, apart from the helix, right now he doesn't have very much firepower, but he's keeping roll in his base. He's going to keep him inside the tunnel. One tunnel there does get denied. I think he cancelled it, though. I think his money was a decent amount there. There are three quads out, though, so is that helix just going to fly in or not? Yeah, Roll, we know, is a very good player. I think he's the favorite going into this. OSS, I can't say I know who it is, to be fair. In a previous reply, I did say I didn't know who Fass was, but Fass is the guy that actually made this, <laughs> you know, this, this new uh, GUI. So, uh, yeah, how could I not forget that? Actually, if you press this, it even says there, Fass. <laughs> so, yeah, shows what I know. <laughs> or I may know it, but I just didn't, uh, didn't realize uh, a load of quads popped here, and this Helix is going to have a hard time defending. Uh, I'm missing a bunker there. A bunker there would have been pretty nice. I think he would have had the money to do it. Because he's done a bunker here. This supply now taking damage, and this supply has already been killed and rebuilt once. This supply is now in play. Helix still flying around. Needs to go back and get repaired rather than just indecisively... Fly. Like, I don't even know why he's hovering around here now, because he can't do anything. If you go in there, you're just going to lose the Helix. Yeah, he lost the Helix now. That's an expensive loss. It might be GG already. Your roll might be taking a uh, quick quick 1-0 lead here. Truck's now taking damage. The quad's coming in. Uh, there is a bunker here, so I suppose if there's at least one tank hunter in there, it could be pushed back. But the wolf actually might just be sniped here, which it is. Flamer goes down. Yeah, Roll looking super solid with the GLA, as you can see on his favorite map with his favorite faction. He uh, is always going to put up a decent fight. And yeah, OSS at the moment is getting ripped apart. Yeah, what is this name, man? OSS Project. What project is that? <laughs> what project is that? OSS. What could that stand for? Original Super Skill Project. <laughs> Uh, why is he sending two trucks over here? Okay, he wants to collect from here. He's just going to lose them, though. Let's, let's look at this. He's going to be sent to their death. Yeah, I think we're seeing the difference in class already. Generally, you can tell from the first opening few minutes, if you've never seen a player before, what kind of level they are. And so far, yeah, he's sent quite a few units just to their death. A 
they're field taking some damage, but more importantly, the quads are going down. Quite an aggressive tunnel. That's even more aggressive than a size tunnel, that is. A size will usually build a tunnel, like, right in your face, but not that in your face, like, right outside the war factory. Uh, quad cannon there does go down. Flamer here has been stopped. Roll has expanded to a third and a fourth, and he's getting another arms dealer. He's collecting on four workers. Just pulled one. He's hopefully going to remake that one. Only four collecting over here and got one idle worker. I think Roll over the last maybe 12 months as well is probably... I don't know if he's... The, is he one of the most improved? On his day, he's actually really, really strong. But um, I think he wants to mix it. He, like, he, he was disappointed when he didn't make it into like a top eight tournament. And I think to get into like the top eight, you've got to do little things like idle workers have got to be collecting. Um, more aggressive tunnels, you probably should have an extra one or two oils now and stuff like that. I mean, it's a hard ask. He is doing very well here. But if you want to be like mixed with the top eight, like taking down big size, Excal, Boyka, these kind of players, it's going to have to be even more impressive in my view. Uh, he's got the money here. There's no reason why he couldn't have queued up some rebels and had all four royals by now. Quad cannons all pretty much sent to their death. Hmm. I mean, Roll is controlling the whole game and he's probably going to take this first game, but, but just like this float here. Why is he floating nearly 7k? Like he's got workers all over the middle. There could be like 50 tunnels here, 50 tunnels here. Do you know what I mean? Like spend all that money. He is spending some of it now and he is getting the oils. But maybe just a little bit late. OSS meanwhile has taken a hell of a beating so far in this game. War Factory remade. Sending an outpost over here. But just an outpost by itself will get popped open by the RPGs. Let's get popped open and the quad cannons are going to be used to clear that up. See, Roll's floating like 10k now. <laughs> He's floating like 10k. <laughs> OSS has got 1k. Uh, OSS is spending every penny, actually. Never oil going to be captured by roll. Those are trying to be picked off. That's not his last, but it would be nice to protect it anyway, because it does cost a thousand to remake him. Massive army of quads on this right hand side. A toxin tractor and RPGs moving in. Roll still floating almost 10k. Making demo bikes now. Making a market. Like, what's wrong with a third arms dealer? What's wrong with a third arms dealer? If you've got 10k, why not make a third? Close this out sooner. Well, cannons moving in, but as uh, more, the more they engage these fully loaded uh, outposts, the more quads are going to go down. So it's not a clinical performance. It's also floating 18k now. I think Roll knows he doesn't need to spend it. Is he trying to do a big size and just show off or something? 16k. I just feel like it should be more of a clinical and faster destruction here. But, yeah, regardless, he's still one. OSS has absolutely no chances. Look at the amount of purple on the map. Rolls flowing 21,000. It's even dropped down another supply. OSS just throws in the towel. GG. So, yeah, it was all basically spiraled out of control when he lost that first supply, when the Helix didn't really achieve much. He sent the Helix to his death. Once that those three things happened, that was it. GG. So, yeah, well played to roll. 1-0 is the score. Jumping into game number two, we have Roll now down in the south of the China Infantry. Let's see how he's going to play it differently. Will he Helix Rush or will he uh, do a Truck Rush? What's he going to do? Uh, he's playing with the green color. Up in the north, we have OSS or OSS Project with the GLA Demolition in the blue.
Okay, so we are going to see possibly a truck rush here. We could see a helix still. So the, tr the truck rush here will probably keep OSS busy. And then if he does do a helix, the airfield will be back here, load up his helix, and then rush straight to the arms dealer. That might be a possibility. Certainly when you see a truck coming from the middle, that's what you've got to be thinking. It could also just be a war factory, but it is going to be a helix. It is going to be a helix. It could be MiGs, but it's probably going to be a helix. Roll just wants to close this one out quickly. <laughs> he says after floating 21,000 in the previous game. Uh, worker not saved. What's that terrorist even doing? Could have saved that worker, OSS. Could have saved it. Truck is just going to go over to this right inside. I don't think it can get any damage then. As long as this terrorist gets over there very quick. Uh, it might be able to get in. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it might actually. Minigunner and a tank hunter. This helix is going to be slightly delayed because this, this infantry looks slow. That helix is going to be out, but it's not going to be a full helix, I don't think, straight away. Two RPGs there do go down. And the truck is not killed. But I suppose losing two RPGs isn't the end of the world. But yeah, see, the helix is already ready. It should be ready to go straight away. It's actually revealed itself now to OSS. I think you can hear that. I think you'll be able to hear it. So yeah, I think the Helix should be further back here to have the more of the element of surprise. Because now OSS, as long as he can hear that, we'll be making quad cannons. I mean, you're probably going to be making quads anyway after your first one or two technicals. So Helix not able to go straight to the main base because there are a few quads and RPGs out, but instead he's going to clear the tunnels on both the mid and on this right-hand side. There is a worker in the base, Tech RPG. Going to harass some trucks. Roll is still collecting here. It looks, looks, looks like a really neat supply, actually. The truck's not moving very much considering it's on weird terrain and the, and the crates. Nice TNT there. Cleared the mines and then shot the uh, supply with the terrorists. Very, very nice. Helix is actually coming back now. That supply has been cleared. So OSS right now is only on uh, one supply. RPG unloaded right next to the Dozer. So Dozer's going to get the crush. Ooh, it doesn't get the crush, actually. So Dozer might still go down and survives on one HP. There is a worker over here that does need clearing because that could come back to bite roll in a second. Roll is floating 3k just then. Has a war factory out now and uh, barracks. Helix is going to come in once again. Helix is actually vetted as well. Makes it harder to kill for sure. Flamer taking down the barracks. Flamer on this left-hand side probably going to clear this tunnel. These quads here will eventually be able to take out this flamer, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Tunnel on the left probably will go down. Like in a 1v1, a flamer, if it starts firing straight away, should be able to win against the tunnel. Tunnel is going down. RPG killed. Roll still with a good foothold in the middle. He's got inside of these garrisons. That one is damaged. Could do with repairing. Maybe want to drop down a bunker. Just 100% secure the middle. Because these can be flushed out by a toxin tractor. Um, roll is expanded over here. So Roll's on four supplies. OSS has not expanded over here to a third. So Roll's still... Sorry, OSS is still on two. But that one was killed for a while. So yeah, Roll's economy is way, way, way ahead. <clears throat> this has been repaired. Nice little bunker. Nice little composition going into it. 
Helix just clear up some units on the right side. There is a worker here. It's going to get cleared up. There is a tank here. Not sure about scorpions against infantry. Not sure why you would do that. Uh, tech RPG does pop and tries to kill some outposts. Almost pops it open, but not quite. Toxin tries to will help clear that minigunner. Hmm. I wish I'd just gone for the oil cap, but is that realistically going to capture when Roll has all this control here? That rebel there does get cleared. Still the scorpion chilling here. He's still not expanded. Again, Roll is floating like 12k. I think Roll is just super confident. He knows at this point that he's won. He's now shooting at his oil, but it's late. He's actually going to let OSS get it. Uh, there's no need to let that happen when you had all that control. You could have killed that rebel or you could have killed the oil before it happened. That could be a TNT. Ooh, did this get completely denied? Luckily for um, Roller, there's enough many gunners in there to shut that down. And this tunnel here is going to get closed down. Looking pretty bad for OSS, I would say. Again, OSS spending every penny, which I like, but Rolf's floating 12k, but Rolf's way, way, way ahead. He doesn't need to spend his money. Scorpion Tank even goes down to a Flamer down there on the left-hand side. One outpost might get popped open here. Ooh, he's got subliminal messaging as well, which increases the heal rate, increases the fire rate. I think to get the Horde bonus, actually, a pro tip is to actually unload all your stuff and then reload him in. So he gets the Horde bonus outside, because if, if you don't unload him, then the three inside of there don't get the Horde bonus. You need to unload him first. That terrorist is going to cause amazing damage. Yeah, two ECMs and an outpost. Very, very nice indeed for OSS. Roll again is floating almost 20k. Ooh, another TNT pops open the outpost. But I just don't know if it's enough. It's not enough at all. Roll has all the map, 20k. The base of OSS is about to go down. Mig's now coming in with Napalm, and he's got 25k. Think, yeah, I was going to say OSS has got to be thinking about quitting now, and <laughs> he does quit. So GG, we'll play to roll 2-0. Just update the scoreboard. 2-0. I mean, yeah, there's not much else to it. We can just see here that roll is just a, a level above OSS, but not a bad attempt by OSS, but just not enough to take down roll. And roll, he can't afford to start floating 10 to 25k against the pros, but I think here he's just doing enough to 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 win i think different players some players rise to the occasion some players will go 100 percent every single game and some players will play at like 70 percent if they know they've already won if that makes sense like floating 25k you would never do that against a top level player but just when he knew he won just when he knew he won he just started floating then so uh yeah gg the uh, two zero jumping into the next game roll again has gla which he will be happy about he's got stealth down in the south of snowy drought in the green up in the north, we've got GLA Mirror, actually. So this will suit Roll. I think it's his favorite matchup. Up in the north, we have GLA Demolition for OSS or OSS Project. Is Roll going to do a three supply build order here? He has dropped down a barracks first. 
indicating a few tourists will be out. I remember on Gorge Drought, there used to be two cars over here that you'd go for pretty much every time and then send them over here. Or two, other cars would crash into each other like around here. But obviously on this map, it's got them taken away. There also used to be some trucks here you could get with terrorists as well that not a lot of people did, but you could. It was a possibility. Tunnel going up in the mid, tunnel going on the right side, tunnel in the main base, and tunnel here. Now, if you watched uh, Excal versus Dark... Oh, no, look at this. If you watched Excal against Dark Nine, I still think that is probably one of the strongest build orders here, where he does the double arms dealer here, no tunnels, and actually gets a third supply. Terrorists there are going to be detonated on the building. Didn't really need to do that because the building can just be repaired. Uh, technical coming through for roll. Tech RPG actually tries to get the tech. Oh, tech terror, but just fails to do so. Tech RPG not really going to achieve a lot. The only reason you send the technical into enemy base is either to do a TNT or. Um, to suicide and crush the workers. But with the tech RPG, you don't really want to suicide that. So I'm not convinced a tech RPG is the best form of attack. Unless you're going to do like two tech RPGs and they've got loads of RPGs in there. Rolls even expand into a third <laughs> inside of OSS's base. Oh, man. Uh... Is, that, is that going to be a TNT? Yeah, if Roller pop there. Would have been bad for him, but yeah, Roll knows his stuff. He knows not to pop there. Roll's got a load of technicals out. No quads yet that I've seen from either player. As I say that, there's one from OSS. Now, this is a big tech RPG push. This is the kind of push I'd like to see with the tech RPG. Not just the one with two RPGs inside of there, but a massive push like this. And you get a forward tunnel, switch into quads, put pressure on the main base. This is typical roll, actually. This is what he likes to do. Uh, OSS is trying to clean this up as best he can, but the techs and RPGs together are very strong. RPGs here being used to clear out the technicals, but there's losses on both sides right now. This worker seems to have been picked off, actually. So many quads have gone down on the OSS's side, though. And Roll doesn't have a real forward position at the moment. He doesn't have, like, a really aggressive tunnel. It has all been shut down so far. But Roll now coming in with his technicals once again. Gets some scrap. And if he's got a super tech in there or not. Or if they're just, like, grenade techs. Seem like grenade techs, but they're so good at clearing infantry. What is it with people that are doing miles away supplies? Look how far away that supply is. Is it even worth making if the workers are going to travel so far? RPGs go inside of this building and this tunnel is going to die. I mean, that supply, you're going to want to think about rebu uh, rebuilding a tunnel there first to secure it. You always want to secure the area and then make a supply because now this one's gone down. It's not actually protected at all. There is a worker coming, but is it just going to finish the supply first? Uh, we'd like to see it secured first with a tunnel and then expand to the supply. Roll capturing an oil down in the bottom right. And... Plenty of workers on all the roll supply. Apart from this one, he's just forgotten to add some workers to it. Tentacles coming through the middle and might find this rebel, actually. I think Roland in the other games got the stronger army because his technicals and his quads are cheaper. He is focusing on building a tunnel there first. Roll moves his quad, uh, technical out of the way. Yeah, that work is going to get denied. So Roll's taking a map control once again. OSS being forced back and he's probably not going to be able to get this oil either and he's invested in the capture upgrade. But he might squeeze past actually without Roll seeing it.
We're all now getting these refineries. These vehicles are going to be even cheaper. That's one of the cool things about this map. You get the refinery. Because it's nice and safe for it. And you can get three supplies like quite easily on this map. Or four supplies in Roll's case. You tend to see three arms there that builds a lot more. So you have massive, massive battles, which I actually really like. Even like in tank mirrors, you see three three or four war factories sometimes, which results in mega, mega battles, which I, I do, do like indeed. So Roll continuing the push here with the quads. He's spending most of his money. He's got 2.5-ish uh, K. He's getting these middle buildings here, which I like. Uh, OSS is losing these front tunnels. And you're just seeing, like, look at the amount of green on the map and look at the amount of blue. Blue is literally squashed against the edge of the map. He doesn't have his oil secure. That's actually been killed. We just look at his vision. I will work. We're all coming in once again with these quads. He's getting a free junk repair, basically, because he's got this um, repair bay. Technical coming in. Just chipping away, helping out. It's actually more distracting, really, so the quads can then get their damage done. Rolls have grown into a palace, and OSS's main base here is looking like it's going to fall. Yeah, Roll is even on the bounty money. OSS throws in the towel. GG, well played to Roll. It goes 3-0. Okay, jumping into the next game. We have Roll now in the north of Snowy Drought with the GLA Demolition in the green. Down in the south, we have OSS Project. Still wondering what this project is. <laughs> and he is uh, playing with the blue GLA Stealth. I think in the early to mid-game, Stealth has the advantage, but then... Demo has a chance later on because he's got stronger... Um... Well, it's got stronger... Uh, well, it's got tanks for a start, whereas Stealth doesn't have tanks. You have the Demo Scuds. You have, uh, yeah, Demo Super Weapons. You have the Demo Upgrade. When Demo Bikes, you have uh, Demo Rebel Ambush. All of these kind of things. But in the early game, Stealth has got the advantage with cheaper quads and cheaper technicals. And there's obviously the Stealth Tunnels. Like, if you're, if you're doing a push as roll with a Demo, push into a Stealth Tunnel. You don't know it's there. Your army might not be in correct position to engage. Boom, he pops out all of his stuff and wins an engagement and that could spiral out of control. Roll's gone for three supplies again. Uh, no tunnel in his main base. Um, is he preparing a TNT? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it at all. Which, yeah, he is... Yeah, he is demolition, so you would expect a TNT to be coming through, but, yeah, no. He's, uh... Just gone for a standard three supply opener. First technical is out. Aggressive tunnel by Roll here and has not been spotted by OSS just yet. Roll just needs two more to win and OSS needs five to win. Ooh, tech RPG. Only two, though. This is what I mean. Two RPGs is not enough. You need a big blob like we saw with Roll previous. Uh, so, yeah, that gets cleared up. These are going to be forced back. They might chase one. Roll has got the numbers now, and they're going to run into a demo trap. Ouch, baby. Ouch, indeed. Forward tunnel is established. This tunnel here is going to be established, but the building is already engaging it. I think the tunnel will win the engagement eventually. That RPG might go down if it doesn't go inside the tunnel. Roll now continuing the push. He has another aggressive tunnel being made here, which means the barracks is probably soon going to go down. Roll with this tech RPG push again. Just w When you play roll, just be careful of this because this tech RPG thing is what he likes to do. This might just kill OSS here alone. Like you pop here, kill this tunnel. Could be, could be GG. Oh yeah, he has realized. Where's he going to go though? Oh, if he pops there. It's going to be interesting. There's a quad coming from the back. Could be another unit coming out here. The tunnel here is chipping away at the army. But meanwhile, the roll is taking a bit of damage over here. Work has gone down. Tunnel gone down. It's a bit of a base trade. And OSS has actually managed to survive. No workers have gone down. That tunnel didn't go down. 
And he's killed a supply there of Roll. So OSS is having a decent start here. Roll does have an extra supply though. Remember, he did a three supply build order. Technical trying to get in the base, but it will be denied. I think he got one worker. Quad RPG push on the barracks, and both barracks are going down for both players. This push from OSS ultimately will be cleared up. Roll getting his oil. He made a mistake there because he was capturing that, but he's actually clicked off it by mistake. Roll with a big pop here, and I think he's going to win this engagement with the help of the tunnel and the super tech. All the quads there for OSSR going down. And there uh, yeah, Roll's got now an economic lead again because he's got the uh, got the oil. Needs to click on that refinery once again to make sure he gets the 10% discount on all of his vehicles. He will need it because he's the demo. Got expensive vehicles to start off with. Uh, still collecting with a decent amount of workers over here. Decent amount of workers over here and here and here. Very, very nice worker collection rate all around. Roll's going to get a load of scrap here though. It's going to make these quad cannons more, uh, more powerful. And this supply might fall now. Yeah, he can kill it without even this tunnel doing anything. Uh, quads do pop actually from OSS, but with the scrapped up quads here, he might actually just take the lead in the quad fight. Uh, yeah, all the quads here are going to go down for OSS, and then the supply is already on fire. It's going to die any second now. And now he can just kind of run away. Does he want to finish it, though? Yeah, he wants to finish it and go away. A uh, load of quads here. What's actually chasing? Oh, he's trying to kill this tunnel here, actually, of OSS. Supply being re-established there from Roll. There's a worker here. Might get denied by the Rebel. Rebel going to go and capture these middle buildings again. Massive quad push here from Roll. Um, he's got the numbers advantages. He's got uh, the vetted quad in there as well and some scrap. And OSS is going to lose control of this whole spot in the corner, which means he's going to be on just one supply. No, Oh, he does have an oil, actually, but he froze in the towel anyway. OSS has been defeated. So GG, well played there to Roll. Takes him now to 4-0. Just needs one more uh, to take the victory. Okay, welcome to Vendetta. Down in the south, we have Roll with the green uh, China Infantry. Almost said USA Infantry there. I don't know why some of these things spring to mind. Maybe it's this USA logo I can see on the bottom right here. Uh, up in the north, we have OSS with China Infantry as well. It was not a agreed matchup. They did choose random versus random, but just look at the draws they get infantry. They will do this twice because, um, yeah, they will just reverse the spots. I think that is the rules. That's what we've seen previously, so... They will do this twice. So OSS has got two mirrors here. Chance to get himself back at least up to 4-2. Um, two supplies going to be built here by Roll. And a war factory. And OSS has gone for war factory barracks himself. But this well, barracks is slow and he's messing with the with the truck here because he's moved the dozer through the supply collection zone if you like war factory barracks is going to be up quicker for roll airfield behind this this is basically big sizes build order he goes war factory barracks and then straight into airfield it's exactly what big size does i don't know if he does the bunker as well but yeah it's big size build order against uh, infantry that's basically what he always does doesn't matter if it's 2v2 1v1 you watch him i can guarantee you he'll do this like 90 percent of the time in infantry mirror and if roll is just copied size or <laughs> if he's just made it up himself let's see first outpost coming across the map for roll much much faster across the map we saw his war factory barracks faster and we're seeing the outpost therefore be faster as well uh, flamer on this right hand side. First Meg is out. I 
I'm just going to take a bit of damage there from the Flamer, but the Flamer has now gone down. This uh, outpost was not um, evac'd before it went down, so therefore all of these tank hunters inside will suffer half damage, including the Minigunner, but the Minigunner is going to heal anyway. He's Vet 3, actually. Ooh, Roll's not paying attention. Now, where is he paying attention? He's actually looking over here. Takes out that outpost. Flamer on this right-hand side here from Roll. And yeah, if that gets here, which it probably is, that's probably over. It's probably OSS kicked out of the tournament. Oh, that's the last thing you want to see because this is so va uh, valuable, this area. Oh, man, even the trucks. Oh, that's painful. That is very painful. Rolls even got three MIGs out, so this can be popped open. That can be killed. Uh, that's painful. I feel bad on OSS. Four MIGs now out. No napalm just yet. Rolls on a third supply. Made another barracks. Outpost pushing down this left-hand side. Going to run straight into a bunker, though. War factory remade. I mean, OSS has got everything he needs to still continue in this game, but is Roll just too far ahead now? I would say probably, because anything he makes out of this, if he loads up full outpost, they're just going to be killed by the MIGs. That's why you're going fast airfield, because the MIGs just kill everything. This flamer is going to be spotted. Has Roll seen it, though? Yeah, he's seen it. Yeah, two MIGs kill 99% of what infantry can make. Outpost versus outpost. Where's the MIGs for Roll? He's still got two here. Why are they not just shooting at this and just taking them out? Roll's got a decent amount of bunkers. Getting another war factory. He's floating a bit of cash again. 4,200. Trucks here are going to go down. They tried to go for the crush, but sadly did not get it. Another supply being remade here by OSS. Outposts have been popped open, and the MIGs come in. And yeah, he's got Napalm now as well. There is a Flamer back in the base of OSS. And I think this is the final few moments of OSS's uh, tournament life here. War Factory is going to get flamed down once again. Rolls even expanding to a fourth now. War Factory tries to be sold, but sadly for him, doesn't, didn't get sold. Rolls on 6.6k. Flamer does get denied eventually. Uh, what did those MiGs shoot then? Are they... Yeah, they are reloading. What did he shoot? I don't even know what he shot. Bunker there is cleared out. CC is being built there by Roll. Flamer is going to be denied, but as soon as these MiGs come across, they're just going to shut down that outpost. The thing is, it might go invisible. Nah, it's not. Ah, that's painful. OSS is done now. He's only got these few units here against the Flamer. Even this one Flamer can probably kill OSS right now. Never mind everything else that Roll's got and the money he's floating. Another Flamer here from Roll. It was a nice try throughout this to try and take down Roll from OSS, but sadly just not enough. GG, and well played to Roll. Well played indeed. So another 5 0. There's been lots of 5 0 throughout this so far. The best of nine. So, uh, yeah, OSS Project, not really seen him before. And Roll, we know, is a good player. So I think he was the favorite going into that. But ultimately, nice try from OSS, but Roll is just a little bit too good there. So, yeah, GG, 5 0. See you in the next one.